This tutorial is going to go over how to set up your DDoS protection at Goodleaf Hosting. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to go over to the client area, billing.goodleafdev.com, where it says DDoS Protection Manager, just click Manage on it, then click Open Control Panel. Now that you're here, if there's any existing rules, you need to delete them, as well as any existing filters, they must be deleted, or else it's not going to work well. First rule we're going to create is the denial rule. So you just click create rule, block, done. That's it. That's the first rule. Now, if you're hosting a game, what you need to do, or any service that you want really. For this example, I'm going to be using 5M. 5M uses the port 30120 on TCP and UDP. So I select the protocol as TCP. The destination port I select as that don't put anything in the source port it'll never be needed 0 .0 .0 slash 0 that just basically means that any IP address on the internet can connect to this destination port hosted on this service click create rule and then for 5m you need to do the same thing for UDP all you need to do is click UDP destination give it a name create rule and then for the filters, there's tons of filters for different games and stuff. I'm going to go over the 5M one. You're going to want to use the GTA 5 multiplayer filter. Use the 30120 ports. If your ports are different for 5M, you can just change it to those. Strict mode, you can just turn it on as true. If you start experiencing issues, you can turn that to false. Multi-IP support, that needs to be true or else a lot of players will face connection issues. And you just create the filter. If you still face DDoS issues you can deploy the 5m one as well but it's you know it's not really needed i don't really recommend it but if you do face issues i'll enable it now to be able to access your new vps i'll remove that to access your new vps what we're going to do is create a rule to whitelist yourself go to the website ipchicken.com now the ip address that pops up you'll need to copy do not use this ip address this is just an example ip address you'll have to use your own IP address. So you go to here. Now, select the protocol as TCP. The source address is gonna be that IP address and then put slash 32 behind it. Now, if you ordered Windows, it's gonna be 3389 as the destination port. But if you ordered Linux, it's gonna be port 22. In this example, it's gonna be Windows, so we're gonna put 3389. And then we'll just name it whitelist self. Now that will whitelist you to the VPS. But if you're using a service like Starlink, AT&T, or like T-Mobile Home Internet, where the IP changes a lot, or you're using like cell tower for your internet connection, you'll have to do something a little different. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go to this website, you're gonna copy this number, but you're also gonna go to bgp.tools, put it into the search bar at the top, go to it, and you're going to copy the number right here. Do not copy the AS part, just the number. Then you're going to come back to here. Create rule. Vertical TCP. The source type is going to be ASN. You're going to put the number you copied into there. Not the IP address, number from here. Destination port 3389 for Windows, 22 for Linux. Then we can just name it like ASN waitlist. Now what that does, that makes it so anybody using, in this example, Comcast, that'll make it so anybody using Comcast can connect to the remote desktop on 3389. They still need to enter a password, it's less secure, but if you're using Starlink or something, that's just what you have to do. In settings here, you're able to set up webhooks for attack notifications, as well as general notifications and stuff sent to your email. There's also a DDoS attacks page that shows you ongoing attacks. 